So you're probably wondering why there's absolutely nothing out here today. Well, that's because I've got something that's lightened my load on this table a whole lot and something you might want for your prepping work and any kind of other stuff around your homestead. Today, we're checking out the Vivor rolling tool table. This thing is awesome and it has really made it easier for me to keep the stuff I have to review in the future off the table so I got room to do stuff. But there's tons of other uses for it. So when we come back, we're gonna check this thing out. So this is the tray, and this thing is going to make my work a whole lot easier out here. Um, I don't know, you know, I don't really bring people behind the scenes all the time, but the side of my table on this side, you know, my big wood table there that I review stuff on, um, that gets filled up with items in, that come in for me to review, and it's very hard to keep track of them, and sometimes it kind of starts to encroach its way into the, into the video, and I don't like that, so I wanted to be able to have something that was a little more organized, a little bit neater, and for me, this is perfect. It's heavy duty, it can hold power stations, it can move stuff around. Um, for, for prepping in general, I would think this would be awesome because you can use this to pack food on, whatever, you know, if you're packing up five gallon buckets, it can hold up to 220 pounds. It's a 29 by 20 inch mobile work desk. It's got four swivel wheels on the bottom. It's adjustable, the height's adjustable up and down. So either way, if it's too, too low for you, too high for you, you can change it. Uh, it's, it's a good angle for me. I wanted it a little bit lower so I could just kind of turn around and grab stuff as I need it. So the rolling two tra tool tray has a large separate storage drawer down there. We'll look inside that for a minute. It also comes with a magnetic tool, a magnetic tool tray. And let me tell you, if you've taken apart little parts of things, you're gonna love that. I mean, I can just pull this thing out here and I got that little magnetic tool tray in there that's holding parts of the, the thing left over. I can stick it up top and I don't have to worry about tools flying all over the places, little screws, anything like that. I just stick it in there and it works just fine. So you can go from 33 inches to 46 inches tall, okay? You can keep all your accessories near you, whatever you're doing, especially if you guys who work on your own vehicles. Imagine being able to have this next to the engine compartment there and being able to get your wrenches and your ratchets, whatever, right there, right next to you without having to dig and go back to your tool kit back and forth. You load it up once you're good to go. I like it for just that reason. I can load this up if I have to move heavy items, say big power stations or whatever. I can move them from one room to the other. And as you see, it glides extremely easily. No issues with it whatsoever. I can get it to swivel if I loosen the thing on the bottom. Putting it together was fairly simple. I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough on how I put it together. It's really a matter of just screwing in stuff. There's nothing difficult, but it was a little confusing in the beginning because one of the pieces didn't look like it fit and I had to figure it out, but it was very, very easy to do. So you have a nice mobile work surface, okay? You can use this for outdoor or indoor use. It can hold automotive shop tools in the garage. It can take your prepping items from one room to another. If you're like me and you got two bedrooms that you converted to two storerooms, that's really, really handy. The capacity on it's 220 pounds total. Okay, you can adjust it from 33 to 46 inches, like we said before. The table dimensions, 30 inches by 20 inches across, and the tray diameter is six inches right there so you can put anything in there you want i haven't really used it for anything yet but let me show you how i put this together so your first order of business is this will come apart in parts is to screw those four screws in there okay you're going to put those four screws on this bar into that and then you're going to screw your wheels in you'll notice these wheels have locks on them too so you can lock it into place um, i have to move that lock back there i want it on that side um, I accidentally put two on the same, so it's going to still spin this way. I'm going to put that one over there, but we'll do that after the video. After that's done, you're going to insert the other piece here in there, and you'll have a screw, kind of a big long screw that goes in there by hand, and you'll be able to screw that in. Then you'll have this tube sticking up. Now, this is where the adjustability comes in. As you can barely see it, but there's a little knob under there, too, as well. I got a piece of wire hanging off it. I got to fix that. Um, and that will be able to uh, adjust the height up and down. So if this is too low for you, you just unscrew that, pick it up, screw it back in, right into the hole. There are holes in there. It's a little hard to see. It's easier with two people if you do this, because then you could pick it up and kind of look and see where the hole is, and somebody can hold it while you're screwing that piece in, because you got to get it in the hole so it stays steady. But all in all, I really love the thing. The drawer already came in it, so that was no problem at all. You're going to screw this table here, 
table to that pole that sticks up there and that's it it's just a, like maybe 15 allen screws that's really it it was really really easy to put together as a matter of fact i have the tools here it comes with there's your allen wrench and they give you an extra screw just in case and that's really it i mean you're just going to put these in and you're done so if you're not the construction type this is definitely the table for you what i like about it for me personally is not only is it going to be able to hold my stuff that in the future i'm going to be reviewing but it's going to be able to let me i'll bring you up a little bit let me move stuff around in the my room here so that i can move stuff around and take it to the other side when i'm done with it or move things in and also keep it right by my side there so i can go oh okay i gotta review that tomorrow that the next day that and i can put things in order so it's going to make the channel a little more organized somewhat too anyway let's take it back inside we're going to finish up the video on it i'm going to tell you how much it costs so you get a nice view of it inside you can see it's very sturdy very heavy duty uh, it's all steel steel construction it weighs about 74 pounds when it's all put together so it's fairly heavy it's not going to just roll away on you by mistake um, the material is all steel and the price on it's going to be 98.99 not bad if you price these things out at home depot you know they're way more expensive so for 99 bucks basically you're going to get yourself a table that you can roll around and use whenever you need it wherever you need it and good enough and sturdy enough where you don't have to worry about it i do believe it comes in other colors i think red um, i chose the blue just because it fits in a whole lot better than a bright red table sitting next to me but uh, i don't know if you can see my desk you can't the camera but that's all the stuff that was on it i probably had about 100 pounds worth of stuff already on it for upcoming reviews and stuff but uh, for prepping i think this would be really handy even if you just kept this in your storeroom when you wanted to rotate stuff i mean imagine being able to roll that over to one of your racks Pull off all the old stuff, put the new stuff in the back, and put the old stuff right in front. It's very important that you rotate things when you are storing food especially, so definitely makes life a whole lot easier. Anyway, that is the Vivor rolling table, okay? 220 pound capacity on this thing, 99 bucks essentially. I do have a code down below, you can check the code out, it's VV promo, I believe, and it will save you 5%, and uh, it's definitely something that i feel is very worthwhile um it's going to save me a whole lot of time and energy and being able to move stuff around like that can't beat it even comes with little inserts for everything um, all in all love it my only complaint was these inserts here were a little long so i'm gonna have to trim them down a little bit but other than that this thing is awesome so thank you guys for watching the link for this will be down below with the discount code don't forget all our other links down there we have our amazon store if you guys are interested in checking out what i review in the channel some of it it's in the amazon store as well as some of the tools i use too um feel free to just bookmark the link and shop and use it as you normally would amazon it doesn't cost you anything really helps out the channel bring you more cool gear and don't forget our thrive life link as well thrive life is having their black friday sale i believe today's the last day so check them out our freeze dry wholesaler link that link saves you 15 percent of course are my patriot supply link that's prepare with iridium.com check them all out we do enjoy you guys watching the channel don't forget to leave a thumbs up subscribe if you like the content and we appreciate you all here thanks for watching stay safe and stay prepared